through the center of the ice. Leaves for Freeborn. Drops back for Works. Shoots it wide right. That shot was tipped. Comes back in front for Works. He's denied by Charleston. Rebound. Freeborn. He scores. Out of his reach. Roche Setaguchi. Can't track it down. The right point for Tim Rigo. Shot wide right. Loose for Jake Lee. Scores! Wilkie will try and work it ahead to Machado. Leads for Morrison. His shot blocked. Loose for Freebound. Freeborn and he scores. Overtime winners this season. Both against Drumheller. Hernandez through center ice. Works it into the Okotoks end. Kim takes the puck away. Two on two for the Oilers. Kim works it to the outside. Drops it back for Jack Works. Works shoots. Scores. And Okotoks wins. 5-4 the final. A minute eight into overtime. The are on it. And we'll go to the far corner where Hackett will take one away, trying to snap one on goal. In behind the net, they're able to poke it past Brock off. Nelson takes another hit on the near side boards. Winds up and down on the ice. Bit of a scramble now as they come up the ice. The Kodiaks are going to get a great chance, and they're going to score the opening goal of the game off of the stick of Callum Gow, just 43 seconds into it. With numbers the other way, Rougey down the right wing side. Driving to the net is Pang. Rougey moving in. Scores! Ties the game. Zafir Rougey. Able to beat Griffin Bowerman. Nice net drive there by Tyler Pang as well, making Bowerman have to think about pass. Hackett gets around his man. Hackett moves in. Hackett scores. The game is tied. The power play had just ended. And Noah Hackett with a great individual effort down the right wing side, able to dance around Sam Schoenfeld. Our Eagles hockey club. We didn't see Young in the lineup last time the Eagles were here. He was with the prospects. He was playing with this CJHL Prospects game. As a chance out front, they score! Scout Truman! With the goal, now a chance out front. Nice move. Great goal there! Carlson scores off a beautiful play from the captain. And just like that, we are tied at two. Miles Hillman. Hillman driving the net. Out front, score! from Miles Hillman as he drove the net and a power forward type of move went to the backhand, drove out front to the forehand of Cameron Chin off the back glass. And Belitsky will chip it up but not out. Chin kept it in. Sterling now, far side. That backdoor pass and they score! Oh. Schaefer, nice move. Great passing play by the Eagles and we're all tied up again. As the Oil Barons control, a chance for a two on one. Lamb if he can get there. Lamb to Hodge, and the pass was just out of his reach. Lamb wins it back. Here's Lamb to Belcourt, skating in Belcourt, shoots, scores! As well. Here comes Savoy. Slow down the left side. Savoy tries to go five hole, and Fredette shuts the door up over the glass. Atwal will shoot second for the Crusaders. Atwal with all kinds of speed flying in. Atwal scores. Skylander down and out. We'll see what Josh Zinger has in store for the Oil Barons. They trail by one here in the shootout. Zinger. Zinger scores! Zapernick. Three points in the game. Zapernick deeks down his Fredette and he slid it through him. And the Crusaders retake the lead with a chance to win it. Didn't get a chance to get to them earlier tonight. Uh, they have Cole Svensson and Braden Jenkins scratched from their lineup tonight. And as mentioned already a couple of times, Matt Corbett wearing number 20. An affiliate player in the lineup and the Canucks score. Has to collect the puck, plays it towards the net off the side of the goal. Canucks now look to move this one out. Ben Watt, a center. Right wing pass, chipped in deep by Kabelka. Chance in front, they score! Storm got out, worked on that one. All the way back to the point once again. Chu and Capty. Clark walks off the corner and shot it over top of the net. Five seconds left in the five on three before Strang returns back to the ice. Chu, down low, score! Clark has his second of the night. It's 3-1 Calgary.